I apologize, I'm eating lunch as I'm doing this video. Anyway, hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for a while. And today in this video, I have a movie review for you guys. And today's Halloween, so I thought it'd be fun to review a movie um, that kind of involves creepy things for Halloween and today's movie review is going to be on Zombieland and this is perfect because I have not done a movie review in such a long time so um, I'm sure you guys all know what Zombieland is I'm sure you guys if you've seen it um, you probably know what it's about but I'm gonna go through it anyway so Zombieland is about a zombie apocalypse that's going on and four survivors must work together in a hilarious in a hilarious um, survival just to get away from a bunch of zombies and kill these zombies who try to attack them. So to start off, I love Zombieland. It's one of my favorite horror comedies. Um, it just makes me laugh. Um, I really love it. It's just a really fun movie and my mom loves it too. It's one of her favorite movies and I remember when this movie came out, um, one of my I think it came out when I was a um, when I was a junior in high school. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Zombie, yeah, I was a junior in high school when Zombie Land came out. Uh, it was one of my favorite um, movies. Please ignore the background noise. My dogs are barking. Anyway, or is that my neighbor dogs? Anyway, so um, it was one of my favorite movies. I remember one of my friends started a zombie club at our high school, and I wish I got to join it because it was seemed pretty fun, and everybody would dress up as zombies, so she started that because of that movie. Anyway, um, so it's one of my favorite movies. My mom loves it too, and um, I love it for the comedy. I like that despite the fact it's kind of like in the horror genre, it's also in the comedy genre, which I love. I love horror comedies, if you guys didn't know, and it's just a really fun movie. I personally just love it, and my brother likes it, and everybody just um, everybody I know who's seen this movie definitely loves this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about the director. So this was directed by Ruben Flesher. Never heard of anything else he directed about this movie, but I really think he did a great job because there's great comedy and everything is awesome in this movie. Movie including the special effects because he did an amazing job with all the directing. Next, I'm going to talk about the characters. I really like Columbus. I think he's pretty funny. I really like the fact that despite the fact he's like one of the like very nerdy and he's very like like phobic of everything. He's afraid of a lot of things, but I like how he also uses his skills and he comes up with great tips for when you're for when you're in a zombie ap apocalypse and I just love how he just um thinks of these things through when everybody gets attacked by zombies during this zombie apocalypse. Um, he's played by Jesse Eisenberg, and Jesse Eisenberg, I'm only familiar with his voice in the movie Rio and Rio 2, and he plays Blue. Next, I'm going to talk about Tallahassee. He's the next character. I like Tallahassee. Um, I think he's pretty funny. I love his sense of humor, and I love that he... Um, is really, he takes care of, he helps take care of Columbus, make sure Columbus is okay, and I like how he and Columbus work together with, um, surviving and everything, and I think that's really great, and I just love his sense of humor. And he's played by Woody Harrelson, and Woody Harrelson, I recognize him from Austin Powers, A Spy Who Shagged Me, and he played himself. I don't really remember seeing him in that, but when I looked up his filmography, he was in it, and I've seen that movie. And uh, he was also in The Hunger Games, which I've only seen, like, once, and he played somebody named Ham Hamish Bethany. I haven't seen The Hunger Games in so long, so I don't really, um, remember, like... I don't remember seeing him in there, but um, I'll have to rewatch it later. Next, I'm going to talk about Wichita, and I like Wichita. I love how she kind of has a crush on a Columbus, and I love how she and Columbus start kind of falling in love with each other as they um, both work together to survive, and I love their that um, she likes him for who he is, and I love that she um, kind of like, I like how she 
is very good at surviving and she's pretty independent. She can take care of herself. And I just love how she looks out for her younger sister too. And she's played by Emma Stone. And Emma Stone, I recognize from a lot of movies. She was in The House Bunny. She played Natalie. She was in Friends with Benefits, which I've only seen like once. And she played someone named Kayla. She was in the movie La La Land and she played someone named Mia Dolan. She was in Cruella de Vil and she played Cruella. And I liked her in, she was also in the movie Poor Things, which I thought was a little bit weird. I didn't watch that movie all the way through. But if you guys have seen it, let me know what you think of it. I watched it, but I thought it was kind of weird. Next, I'm going to talk about Little Rock. So I like Little Rock. I love how she t always makes sure her big sister is okay. And I love how she looks up to her sister. And I love that she... Um, Kit is pretty independent too. She can handle a gun by herself, despite the fact she's like a teenager in this movie or something. And I just really like how she's independent, smart, and she does anything to help her sister. And she's played by Abigail Breslin. And Abigail Breslin, I recognize her from Raising Helen, and she played Sarah Davis. Let me know if you guys want a review on Raising Helen, because that is one of my favorite movies. Um, anyway, and she was also in The Princess Diaries, Real Engagement, and she played a little girl named Carolina. So next I'm going to talk about the setting. This film takes place in like four about five different states. Um, they did a pretty good job like adding all these states and I actually had to look it up because I couldn't actually fi figure out where, where it took place. So they had it filmed in Columbus, Ohio. I've never been to Ohio before, but it looks very pretty from um, what I've seen in the movies and stuff. And I love the scenery. It's got such a beautiful scenery. The land is so pretty. The trees are so pretty. Just everything about Columbus, Ohio is so pretty. It also takes place in Austin, Texas, too. And Texas, I've never been to, but I know a lot of people have been to Texas, and they say it's such a nice state. It, and um, I think I know somebody who lives in Texas. Do I? I don't remember. Um, I have a friend who lives in Texas, and he it's a really nice state, too. Next... And then it takes place in the White House and Graceland and Pacific Playland. If you guys ever been to specific Pacific Playland, please let me know because it looks kind of cool. And um, let me know if you guys know where it is because I have no idea where it is. I've never heard of Pacific Playland. Is it a real place? Well, it is a real place from when I looked it up. From what I looked up, but. Um, I've never actually been there. So I would recommend Zombieland to anybody who likes really good horror comedies. Um, um, I also recommend it to anybody who likes um, Jesse Eisenberg because he's a good actor. I also recommend it to anybody who likes Woody Harrelson because he's a pretty good actor. And um, it's just a great movie in general. It's super funny. So if you're looking for a funny movie that gives you jump scares on Halloween to watch, I highly recommend this film. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so that was my review on Zombieland for Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And this also went a lot quicker. This went a lot quicker than I expected. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for a while, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!